hello and welcome to today's video and this video is an update on this bright tech passenger information sign stroke or stopping sign and today I'm going to be running it on the 24 volt power supply inside this box that it is currently fitted in from a bus a mini pointed dart is a step down transformer and the gear to operate the bus stopping sign this sign was removed from this bus and it had been replaced with a standard bus stop illuminated sign due to some kind of problem with this box and i believe it's might be something to do with that the bus stopping sign just doesn't work in this anymore because I can't get it to work. I'll show you the wiring after I've shown you the light white working. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. And all this sign shows is a reaver here to take you there save the tickets day out save up weekly save up four weekly saver ten trip And the family ticket and then it will repeat now the the signs on the buses they used to show other information like uh, customer hotline telephone numbers and a few more details and the idea is when you rang the bell they stopped showing this information then shown at bus stopping until the passenger doors opened and then when the passenger doors closed it would go back to the scrolling messages now i've tried i can't work out i've tried putting a switch on the door contacts but i do not know if it requires a signal earth or something i've tried earth in it and i've just tried shorting out the circuit and it makes no difference whatsoever with this sign anyway we'll let it scroll through once more and then I'm going to take it apart and show you what's inside Okay, I'm now going to pause the video. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, this is the circuit board that is inside this unit. And it is a step down transformer. And it also has um, a power switch on the bottom. Turn it on and off. And here we have the jack plug that supplies the power the 12 volt DC to the unit and this is uh, the data lead which I believe would then show the bus stopping sign which is currently not working and then inside we have the unit itself uh, the wires coming off directly above are doors and it says doors one which has power and then it has a bell one and bell two 
and the wire the red and the blue wire are the incoming mains so that's the controller inside and this is the wiring on top and there's two wires oh, this one is 24 volts DC in and earth and the three pin one is to the doors and the information on there is very basic but each one has a number and PL1, PL2, PL3 which is this one PL4 and PL5 so um, I may be wiring it up wrong and if anyone knows how to trigger the stopping sign correctly you can let us know in the comments below well, I'm going to pause once more because I'm going to show you the power supply this was also used with because this one was used in the Arriva travel shop the original sign not the case that I'm currently showing okay now I've wired it up using this um, bright text development uh, power block and this was what was used in the travel shop and on the back it has uh, the information on what it does I'll leave this in the comments below but basically they ran this sign in the travel shop and it just ran while the shop was open in the window mainly in St Margaret's bus station before it closed and is currently still being redeveloped. The only other thing I haven't mentioned is the communications cable which is also in the control box behind and this is the idea is for downloading new information into to this display and I'll just show you that and then we'll end this video. Now this is the data transfer cable sticking out of the bottom of the unit and it looks like a three pin jack and it basically goes to this jack that's just a link wire and then it goes to the back of the unit and I'll just show you the back of the unit. And finally here is the information on the back of the unit itself. As I said, the data lead would connect to the top. The information or keypad cable connects to the middle and the power lead connects to the bottom. It says, operating instructions, apply power and run existing message. Press stop run to edit messages. Type shift and zero to clear messages. And then it says serial where you can download the messages without using the keypad, the keypad controller, which I haven't got, and the power. It's a Bright Tech Developments LED display, part number B011 slash 017. It also has another serial number written in pen 22397. It has a date code of the 270398 and because it's been used with a mains voltage it's got an IPAS certificate on for, for use in the shop. Well, anyway I think we'll finish this video showing the sign run through one more time. For now I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video of this Bright Tech passenger information sign. Please like and subscribe and see you again soon. Goodbye. Display will now be run on the shop power supply. 240 mains down to 12 volts DC. Stroke AC.